a simple rural scene, landscape in South Gloucestershire. This is the village of Hawkesbury. Quite a quiet village. And I'm thinking about that view there. The other alternative is the church, but I think the light is in the wrong, it's going to the wrong direction. It's a nice you you hedges there cut but I think this scene will be quite nice with the two buildings side by side, a little lane between them, distant tiered hillside, shadows in the foreground, framed perhaps by this building here on the left. Let's have a go. Right, start with the drawing. Materials, Saunders Waterford watercolour paper, cold press, which I always recommend, good quality, cotton based, 100% cotton paper. And the paints I'll describe as I go through the demo. First off, the drawing, and the biggest challenge here are the values. The sun has gone in, and we're all kind of in the mid, mid range, these values. So I'm gonna to have to try and eke out some darks and some light somewhere. We've got the, the, the light of the sky, the horizon. That might be something quite good to focus on. So first of all, let's get in the left-hand building. And then the hill as it rises in the background. Hello. Hello. The, the dog's wandering around. Oh, that's quite all right. Don't worry. <laughs> Trees just framing the left-hand building. And then the side of that building it just gently slopes down to the right there's a sort of plinth or platform here catching the light of it road going up slightly to the right and a little bit of a hill on that side tricky building on the right hand side it's it's sunken down a little bit and so the, the the road goes the track goes down there and we can just about see a little bit of a, a gate and then this cottage that sort of almost bends around to the right a little bit. The edge of the roof is almost horizontal. Just a few little windows being displayed and then dark over there. Quite dark with some trees. There's these tiers of the, of the hillside, a little bit of an interest up there, and dotted around some shrubs and bushes and things. Uh, just go back to this cottage here, just make sure I've got in the chimney, like that. There is a little bit of a small tree there. I'm not going to put that in. Just keep this nice and simple. Uh, 
low brick wall here. Yep, I think that's it. Right, now paint. Raphael Soft Aqua size 4 and get in a, a simple sky. Colours I've got are neutral, these are from Jackman's Art Materials, uh, handmade professional grade watercolour paints. So it's neutral tint, burnt umber, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, spring green, viridian green, cobalt green. Cerulean blue, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, Allerton crimson, cadmium red, a light red, English oxide, cadmium orange, cadmium yellow, and there's a lavender down at the bottom as well. Simple sky. And I'll keep it fairly dark on the left and we'll have a little bit of light just there. A bit of a mixture of ultra blue, burnt sienna. And then, well, a yellow ochre, I think, for most of it, just as a base wash. that building. Uh, distant hillside. Bit of spring green. Dirt it up a little bit. that right hand side paint around the the, uh, the chimney and the roof trying to find a little bit some of those little tears. And then the grass gets a little bit more vibrant down towards the bottom.
proof of that cottage. We've got quite a sort of warm terracotta colour to it. And then continue with that stonework similar to building on the left. Right, foreground grass. Got a dog around my my ankles. Ah, in the barn then. My mum used to paint here. She loved it. Yes, very peaceful. Yes. Yes, beautiful. lovely spot. Yeah. And uh, are you recording as well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For YouTube. That's oh, <laughs> quite right. <laughs> There's yeah. lots about there. History of the place in the church, and the church is open. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. So yeah, I might take a look later on. Want to say, yeah. You know, just go and pick up one of the side books. Or yeah. Thank you very you. much. Yeah, it's very kind of you. Thank you. We have a pet prime minister buried in there. You see. A pet prime minister. Yes, yes. <laughs> that sounds interesting. The longest-serving prime minister after Pitt. Uh, he was oh, okay. Prime minister continuously for fourteen and a half years. Oh wow. Which rather puts our prime ministers into context. Yeah, that's right. It does. <laughs> Someone to follow. Thanks very much indeed, and you. I'll have a little gander to the local history later on. Right. A bit more of the road. Smaller brush. And The grass verge on the far side. And now something quite light for the road, which is Bit of a cobalt blue, weak, weak cobalt blue. And then this, this gravel just extends around the foreground I'm going to use the, the side of the brush and then with the with the texture of the paper hopefully get a few little bits of the paper showing through which can be lighter pebbles a bit too dark there which could be lighter pebbles just catching the light. There we are, just a bit, a bit like that. Okay, now darker roof in there in a minute. 
Let's do, is this dry over here? Oh, it's nearly dry. Let's do some darker bushes. Over on the far side. Still keeping with this brush. This is a, a Princeton Acrylite long round number 12. So a little push there just on the horizon and then there's a another one there one halfway up just use my fingertips to get a, a softer edge One, a little bit higher up. Might just try and get in the feeling of the, the tears in here, there's a little bit of darkness between the between the levels. Again, the side of the brush. Right, there's this little wood up on high up on the hill, framing that right hand side. So slightly different green now, reading green, a bit of burnt umber, a bit more it's too it's too bright. And Then start at the top and just alternate these greens as I come down. then just at the base of that wood there's a little bit of darkness just 
just as it frames a lighter tree there. base of this smaller tree on the right. I'm going to go quite dark, frame the right hand side of the cottage and then down down to the, uh, there's a little sort of stone wall there. The grass on this side is, oh, it's not as dark as that. Too dark, it's better. grass from that mound there, it's just coming into the, the, the driveway here, just a little bit. Right, left hand side, left hand side. And the rooftop, this roof here of the building on the left which is quite dark. It's, it seems to be a little bit darker than that roof, just a tiny bit. typical of old roofs, they sort of dip in the middle, that gives them a more of a, an antiquated look and feel. Just add a bit of green into into that mixture. I just feel like there's a little bit of moss growing on there. So horizontal lines which would just expose a little bit of the paper where there could be some lichen and that sort of stuff growing on the Going on the roof. As we come down, it's just a tiny bit darker. Actually, I just need to extend it over a little bit more. There, now a bit of dark shadow 
underneath. Bit of a dark shadow underneath like that. And a window here. Maybe another window just here, not too far on the left. And there's bits of ivy and stuff growing up the wall. darker tree around there so same sort of green as I did with the wood Viridian green burnt umber maybe a little bit of ultra blue a little bit of red Bit more burnt umber and starting on the left hand side let's try and define that top left corner of that tree Again, using the side of the brush. Make it a little bit more solid, not too much the sky showing through. Now as I come down the right hand side, there's quite a attractive edge to this tree.
to the bottom of that tree. Actually the shadow does come straight across the bottom. And we can just see a little bit of the the gate at the end. The shadow goes right across that track, a little bit of a dip, and then up the other side. Like that. Now let's just define the rooftop a bit more. And underneath the bit of shadow underneath the roof here. And a little bit of detail to the chimney. Uh, some windows for the cottage. So there's a very narrow one there. The window is open, but I'll just keep it, I'll assume it's shut. And then a little one below that. And then coming over, there's this tree here. I'm imagining there's a window there. And then a couple more. One here and then a window here with three just to find this grass on the far side, just a little bit more. And then it goes up the road, just disappears behind that. Right hand mound there. Nearly there, right. This central sort of platform plinthy type thing here. Let's just define that. And then a bit of darker grass. Then it comes down into the into the gravel.
tiny bit of grass on the far side. And a bit of shadow to a bit of shadow to this plinth. nearly there on this simple landscape. That tree looks too perfect. Just just add in a few more leaves on the outer on the outer edge. Be careful not to put too much detail into those trees in the distance. Right, bit of definition to bit of definition to the tiles. So rig a brush. and such a fine line. Such a fine line. Uh, is that dry yet? So not continuous lines, just little, little dashes here and there. Just to give the impression of those tiles, not, not all of them, otherwise that'd be too much detail. Perhaps there's just a few little verticals as well, not all, not all horizontals. And then also in the wall, there might be just a few little bits of the mortar showing through. And then roof on the far cottage. Then just a few on the end. Not too many. Bit of detail to this. Your car park's filling up now. Must be something going on. Let's go back to my long round with a with a good point.
brick wall in front of that building. rather tempted to put a figure in but uh, yeah should I put a figure in there let's get a figure I didn't draw one in initially but I think it needs something to fill in that space so smaller brush synthetic round and start off with a little bit of flesh color so let's just imagine a figure around about there And a little bit of a blue for the body. Shadow, blue, bit of others in crimson. Yeah. Uh, with this brush, I could just I think it needs to be that dark shadow on the left hand side. Back to my Raphael Soft Aqua and Cobalt Blue, Allers and Crimson. There's that wall that's sort of coming out this side and Shadow just extending out a little bit of the barn to my left, so I imagine that's causing this shadow. There. Perhaps just a few little bits of grass. Being silhouetted against the, the lighter grass behind. Some of these tiles are darker than others, so I'll just go in with this smaller brush. And add that in. Um, that chimney's not standing out too much, so let's just... Add in there's some sort of ventilation object at the top and perhaps a bit of dark shadow 
right hand side. Um, I'll put a tiny bit of a, a fence. Going up there. Tiny bit of a dark edge to the grass verge on the far side. And then we'll just go behind the figure. few more little lines. For the mortar. There. I think we're done. Keep, it, keep that figure nice. I could add more detail in there, hair, clothing, but I'll keep it simple. So, easy landscape, Hawkesbury, South Gloucestershire shirt. I'll get back to the studio and do a proper critique. That's too hard an edge up there. Catch up with you later on. This is my end painting then. Hawkesbury, and I'm fairly happy with with the end painting. I think one criticism I could place on myself is that right hand tree, that top right hand tree. It looks like a massive tree rather than a wood. Uh, so perhaps it needs just a little bit more form to define separate trees in there, and maybe just somehow trying to connect it to that hillside as it's sort of crawling up that hill on the right hand side rather than that that big shape there uh the left hand edge of that little cottage that could be perhaps a tiny bit darker it's the same value as the hillside behind i think the hillside came out all right i've got the feeling of those those tears going up there the left hand building the the, the lichen and all the old stuff and moss growing on the rooftop and the the texture of the old tiles, the couple of windows, the darker tree framing the right hand side of it. And then coming up, coming into the foreground, that that plinth. Shadow coming across the left hand side. I think that fills in that that left hand side, frames it just a little bit down there, gives some something of interest down there. And <laughs> the inclusion of a figure. Uh, just made up, um, put in there. There were some, there were some cars parked up on the right hand side, but I'd have just had the sort of the back end of those cars. It wouldn't have looked right on that right hand side. But I think that figure in that kind of position looks all right. And maybe leading the the, the, the actual composition, leading the the viewer down the, the little lane there through to the that fence which I think is a popular uh, walking route, this. So I think that's one of the network of uh, footpaths across this, across this area. Hope you like it. I'll catch up with you on the next video. Bye-bye.